Minnesota is on its way to becoming a mini Hollywood. Since the legislature passed a tax credit program last year, six projects, including two TV shows, three movies, and one commercial, got the green light to film here. The project should bring more than $10 million to the Minnesota economy. New at 10, Mariel Mose explains what's in the works and how it is making a real difference. You can see where you've eaten and jingle all the way. Or you can find a St. Paul neighborhood you've been to in grumpy old men. Just forget it. Who's your guy yakking at your door? There's a sense of pride when you see it shared with the rest of the world. Melody Bayhan is the executive director of Minnesota Film and TV. She's excited to feel that sense of pride again, seeing Minnesota on the big screen more often, thanks to the tax credit program to film here. The first project utilizing this program was the film Downtown Owl, an adaptation of Chuck Klosterman's 2008 novel. It was shot in downtown St. Paul in April. I'm very excited about that one. I can't wait to see that. The, the cast is incredible. Um, the story is great. More productions means more jobs for the people who live here. The wages are included in the incentive only for Minnesota residents. We have our full wardrobe. Sammy Hallaby is a Minnesotan already growing his business because of everything being filmed in our state. He and his partner April Heinrichs own Wheels Up Rentals, offering custom makeup, hair and wardrobe trailers for production teams while filming here. It saves production a lot of money because they don't have to worry about finding the inventory from another market and bringing that inventory here. Bayhan's goal is to expand the program past its four-year expiration date of 2025 in hopes of landing a successful series like Yellowstone or Ozark that film over several years. A series will provide you with almost year-round employment, you know, an influx of, of cash to the state. In Minneapolis, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota Film and TV Group says it will meet with Hollywood executives to sell our state. Some of the draws include our diverse climate, the lakes, and easy access between metro and rural areas. We have a list of all six projects in development in Minnesota right now on WCCO.com.